This video covers the sort of questions you should expect to see in the Year 9 Statistics Test. I'll put some time tags down the bottom for you and they'll cover the question numbers for anyone following along on the test preview or a description of what sort of question it is if you're using this to help you find a particular sort of question. Question one's a bit of a revision from year eight. So this, this one's asking you to um, go back and, and write all the numbers in order, in order to find the mean, median and mode. So um, I've gone ahead before I started the video and put them in order so you don't have to watch me do that. But when you go to solve these, um, what we'll do is we will um, calculate the median first. So the median is the middle score. So if we arrange them like this from smallest through to biggest, it's going to be the middle score, which is going to be about here somewhere. So what you need to do is you need to count through and decide how many scores you've got. In this case, we've got 19 scores. And that means that the middle score is going to be the tenth score, okay? So you count along, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is the median score. So the median will be 24, okay? Remember, if you have an even number um, of scores, you'd have to find halfway between two scores. So you can add them up and divide by two to do that. The mode is the score that happens most frequently. Most frequently. So that means it happens the most times. So if you scan through here, 21 happens four times. If you keep going, one, two, three, four, five, 25 happens um, more times than that. So it's going to be the most frequently occurring score. And then the mean, what you will have to do is you will have to add all these numbers together in a calculator and then divide by the total number of scores, okay? So it will be 21 plus 21 plus 21, etc., etc., etc. And once you've added all of those up, you'll then need to divide by 19. Now it's really important if you're using a calculator that you put this in brackets, okay? because the calculator will do division before addition, okay? So if you don't put the brackets in, it will just divide your final score by 19. You might not get the correct answer. So once you've done all of that, you should arrive at the answer 23.58. And that's done. Question two is asking you to construct an ordered stem and leaf plot using intervals of 10. Now this is a more efficient way of dealing with the data than in the previous question. So what you'll do is you'll need to create yourself a stem and leaf plot. And before I start this, I'm going to scan through and see if I've got any 10s. I don't. I've got 20s, and by the look of it, I've got them through to 50s. So I will have... 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. And this side of the stem and leaf plot is for the 1s. So if you go through and you find your 20s, you've got two 25s in there. And then in your 30s, scan through and write them as you find them. So I've got 31, I've got a 32, I've got a 35, I've got a 38, and I've got a 39. And then in my 40s, if I scan through, I've got a 40, I've got a 42, I have a 43, I have a 44, I have a 47, another 47, and a 49. And then in my 50s, I've got a 50 and a 52. Okay, and then I'm just going to double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I've got 16 scores all together, and I'll make sure I've got 16 here. Easy to miss one. Okay, now that we've created an ordered stem and leaf plot, that means that the ones are going up. This is important because you need it to be ordered in order to find out what the median is. Okay. It says, use it to find the median, okay? So I'm, I'm down here now, use my stem and leaf pot. Now, if I've got 16 scores, 
that means that I'm after the 8th and ninth score. Okay, so what I do is I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And this is where I have, I, I can't have two medians, so what I need is I need to find exactly halfway between those two. Now this is really easy. Halfway between 40 and 42 is 41. But let's just assume that there was two numbers that, that might be difficult to work out what's halfway between. What you can do is you can just say 40 plus 42 divided by 2 is 41. So the median score is 41. Question 3 is really quite a long question. So I'm going to break this video up into a few parts. In the first one I'll show you how to fill out the table. Second one, I'll show you how to find the average. Third one, the median. And fourth one, the mode. So when you go to fill out one of these tables, which I've pre-filled in some of the information so that it's not too painful to watch, is you'll first notice with this table that instead of finding scores, it's finding intervals. Okay, So this might be really good if you're collecting information about age groups or something like that. So the first thing to do is to fill out this midpoint column because this is important. This will become your score, if you like. And what this is doing is it's finding halfway between 0 and 9, which is 4 and a half. If you can't work out what halfway between these numbers are, add them together and divide by 2, okay, and you will get um, the midpoint. The cumulative frequency column is this frequency column, column as a running tally, okay? So if that's 0, that's 0. Then you say 0 plus 1 makes 1. 1 plus nothing makes 1. 1 plus 4 makes 5. 5 plus 22 makes 27. 27 plus 32 makes 59. 59 plus 55 makes 114. And 114 plus 36 makes 150. Now, this score of 150 here is also the total for the frequency. You can just add all of those up to find that, but if you've got a cumulative frequency column, you might as well do that first and drag it over. Okay, the FX column. This is the hint here. This means the frequency times by the score. Okay, so this column multiplied by this one. So 0 times 4.5 is nothing. Okay. 1 times 14.5 is 14.5, nothing times 24.5 is nothing, etc, etc. You will have to use your calculator to total this up, okay? And this is really important for finding out the mean, which we'll find out in just a moment. Okay, the second part of this question is uh, to find the mean, okay? Now, this column here is what's really important for finding out the mean. And you might want to make a note of that so that you can use it in future tables. Because the mean, or the average, is the FX total divided by the frequency total. Okay? So it will be 9,105 divided by 150, okay? which once you put it in your calculator will give you 60.7. The next part of this question is asking you to find the median. It asks you down here, but I'm just doing it up here so we can all see the table at the same time. Now, the median is going to be found using the cumulative frequency column, okay? So make yourself a note that the cumulative frequency column, which is sometimes called the CF, okay, is where you'll use to find the median. The first thing you need to do is have a look at what the total number of um, outcomes there are. So there's 150 altogether, or 150 scores. So I am looking for the 75th and 76th score. Okay, And the way that I do that is I run down this column 
and I say, right, this is where the first score happened. Uh, this is where the fourth through to the fifth score happened. This is where the sixth through to the 27th score happened, etc, etc. So here, so far there's been 59 scores, but I'm still chasing the 75th and 76th. So they'll happen somewhere in this band here, okay? So what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for an interval of 60 to 69. So the median will be 60 to 69. Okay, and the last part of this question is to try and find the mode. Okay, so the mode is best found using the frequency column. So again, make yourself a little note because the frequency tells you how often something happens. So that one's nice and easy. All you do is scan down here and find the biggest number. Okay, and 55 is the largest number. So that means that this score happened the most times. So the mode is also 60 to 69. Okay, so question four is asking you to do a ordered back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot. So I've gone ahead and, and, and done that because you don't want to watch me do that for five minutes. And what I've done is I've, I've taken the scores at the top and I've had a look through my tens columns and I can see that I've got people in their teens right through to their 60s. So I've put down my tens here and then I've ordered my ones for the males on the left and the females on the right. Back-to-back -back stem and leaf plots are quite useful if you want to compare two sets of data. Okay, so um, this is how you draw it up. And then to try and find the median of each set of data, what I do is I have a look at how many scores of each there were. So there was 29 females and 29 males. So in each instance, I'm going to be looking for the 15th score, okay, because that's exactly halfway. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So for males... It's going to be 34. And then for females, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's going to be the 32nd, 32, so for females, it will be 32. All right. The next one is asking us to draw some general conclusions, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the data and straight away I can see that the males are generally older than the females. You see we've got way more males in their 40s um, than females. Um, so they're in the 30s and 40s and they even run up to 66, okay? So one conclusion would be that the males uh, generally older. There's more in their 40s. And for the females, um, you can see that they're mainly in their 30s. So it might not be a um, bad idea to sort of say um, females uh, mainly in their 30s. Um, you could also talk about the range here if you really wanted to extend out the marks. You see the, the males have got uh, a range um, from you know 13 through to 66, whereas the females are from 12 through to 44. So the range of, of ages in males is quite a bit bigger than females as well. It's up to you. All right. John Smith was 34 when he received the award for best male athlete. Was this unusual? Well, looking at this data, no, I don't think that it's unusual. It was actually the median age and there are several um, males who are aged 44. Okay, so no, it was the median age.
Okay. Um, so you could actually argue that it actually had a central tendency of 34, so it's not surprising at all.